Hi, I'm J.B. Wagner and welcome to my channel. I'm not doing this for money, so I don't care if you subscribe and I don't care if you do any likes. I just hope I'm giving you some useful information. And in this case, it's about the Canon R50, which is actually a great little camera, but I'm not doing a review of the camera as a whole. One of the criticisms of this camera has been the notion that it is too small and too light that doesn't feel good in the hand of someone with bigger hands. And I think that problem, if it is a problem, and, and I think that's fair enough, can be easily addressed by mounting the camera in a cage. Well, what's a cage? This is a cage. This is the small rig cage for the R50, and this is the newer cage for the R50. Both cages work. I happen to prefer the newer. I'll show you why in a moment. But what happens when you use a cage you create first a safety barrier and if you were to drop the camera. You increase the grip in this case, so for a bigger hand, you increase the feeling of weight and clearly it feels way, way more like a Leica or something really well made. It doesn't feel cheap and flimsy anymore. But there's so much more that the cage can do for you and they're, they only run a little over $50. So I think to me it's a total no-brainer. Now, I personally love to put on a handle um, to improve the balance and the handling of the camera. And in this case, it slips right on. This is called a NATO rail. When you, both of these cages have a small NATO rail on the left. When you buy a handle, I highly recommend you buy the NATO rail style and not the type that screws in because this is so much easier to quickly remove and put back on. But I love holding the camera just like this when I'm shooting. And, and I personally hate neck straps. I can't stand neck straps. I don't even like the attachment points. And in this case, the attachment points on both these cages are used to attach the cage. So they're covered up and they don't hit your hands, which I really like. So this is a great feeling um, option right here, but there, there are many others. So that pops off. This is a, a small rig, more expensive handle that isn't wood. I like the aesthetics of wood, but this one's not wood, but this one rotates. So if you're down low, if you're up high, you can rotate it and that can be a huge advantage. Now the handle can get in the way of the screen. I mean, you can make it work like this. That's not so bad, but it is there where you flip out the screen. So there are other options as well for putting on handles. In this case, I have a post type handle and I've attached a, a pretty small Acra Swiss compatible um, tripod mount by Neuer. And this works great, actually, this combination. You can get really low with this and it doesn't obstruct the um, screen at all when it's out and down. So if you're doing something low to the ground, that's great. On the other hand, you can just always rotate it to any angle. Oops, <laughs> that was the wrong one. Sorry. There we go. And use it like this. So this is particularly good for video, but even if you're doing still, that's not a bad arrangement right there. And there's also the um, handles that attach to the top. Like this just screws in and it can go in your flash mount in this case, or it can screw into the cage. And again, th this is used primarily for low video shooting, but it could also be used because you can flip out your screen. It can also be used for low to ground shooting. All right, so one of the advantages of cages is there's different places all over the cage where you can fasten attachments. So I could put a flash shoe down here. I could put another NATO rail. I can use a handle up here. Here I've mounted a microphone. There's a flash shoe mount, and this is a flash shoe microphone. For me, I'm a left-eyed shooter, so this really helps me get the microphone out of the way of eye-level viewing versus the standard flash shoe. Then imagine I'm not 
I, I gotta say I'm not a vlogger myself, but with this stick approach and this tripod mount, all you have to do is flip your screen around. Oh, I've got it, let's see, there we go, there. So you've got a perfect vlogging setup. So here I am, I can see myself, you know, if the camera's, it's not turned on right now, but if it were. And with Canon's new 10 to 18 millimeter lens, which is, in my opinion, the go-to lens for this camera, more on that later, um, you can uh, easily vlog with this camera compared to this. The kit lens isn't wide enough, whereas this 18 or 10 to 18 is perfect. Another thing I love about these cages, and that's true of both the small rig and the newer, is they're designed with a bottom plate that's designed for the Arc Acra Swiss tripod mount, which is so fast and easy. So you're in a tripod just like that. I'm not a big tripod fan, but I'm using it way more than I used to because this is so easy. The great thing is, with, is that it has that mounting plate, but you still have total access to your battery compartment as well as your SD card. So you don't ever have to take the cage off to do anything. You can do everything with the cage on. And in my view, I would use the cage all the time. I don't see any reason to take it off. The one exception I can think of is if you use a really, really lightweight gimbal and it just adds too much weight. There's only a couple that are that small then you might want the cage off, but that's for another video. I'm generally a big fan of small rig uh, products, but in this case, I think the Niwer, hope I'm pronouncing that right, who knows, some uh, Chinese brand name made up. It's beautifully designed to wrap around the shutter button and then in front here, whereas the, the um, small rig cage goes over the record button and around. So you actually have to reach your finger under here to trigger recording, which to me is a real drawback. Other than that, the cages are really, really similar. The newer cage has its NATO rail down here, which I prefer because there's more room for the microphone connection, whereas the small rig is up higher, but you can still put in your microphone jack. It's, it's not a problem, that's a minor detail. So either cage will work, but for the price, almost the same, I'd go with the Niwer. Again, I'll have links to all of these different um, attachments and products in the description below. Thanks for watching.